welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Here, two liters of water in a saucepan, right? So then I'm going to add some uh, chopped up celery. And we're going to have some chopped carrots. And there's a, a couple of medium onions chopped up also. To that I'm going to add some... Uh, there's 500 gram of chicken pieces here. I'm using the thighs because then with this chicken I want to shred it up to put it in my baked chicken risotto, right? So I'm going to put these in now. There's enough here to shred to shred it all up. So just put that in there. I'll have some salt. Put a couple of teaspoons of salt in there and some pepper and I, I normally like to put in about a couple of spoons of diced tomatoes it's only just a little bit to give it that extra flavour I like this to cook this for at least about an hour to an hour and a half uh, until all that chicken is tender That'll cook for about an hour, and, an hour and a half. What I'm going to show you now is when I assembled it. Because I've, I've already made a, a chicken stock before, so I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to, what I do is I par cook, I've got, half, I've got 500 gram of rice here, and I par cook it before. That means that when I put it in this chicken stock, it doesn't absorb too much stock for me. So I've prepared one beforehand, so I'm putting that on the stove here now, and I'm going to add the, I'm going to add the rice to it now. So when I have this rice, it'll just cook. This will be cooking for about another five minutes, so I'll show you when I put it all together. Now my rice is cooked and I like to have it nice with uh, a lot of stock in it, liquid, just like that because I've got to put it in the oven and it will absorb more liquid. What I've done with the, when I made the chicken stock with the vegetables, after it had been cooking for about an hour, an hour and a half, I strained the vegetables and the chicken because I needed to take it out and shred it. I shredded it all up in pieces like that. You can leave the vegetables in your stock if you want to. Otherwise, uh, what I did was I could you could either blend them and don't have all the chicken like the little pieces of carrot or the pieces of celery and blend it, which I did in there. Also, have at hand some chicken stock in case you need it because it might dry out. But I've got 500 gram of rice in there. I have par cooked it so it didn't absorb a lot of my liquid, my stock. Now I'm going to add, what I'm going to add is the chicken pieces to all this rice. And stir it around. And I'm going to add some nice parmesan cheese to it. stir that around. You can put as much as you know, a cup or half a cup of cheese or whatever or you can put some more after when you're eating it. Now I've got this dish because I'm making it for about uh, six people. I'm going to add some more of this chip of the stock. Now I'm going to put this in this dish. I've beaten up two eggs there and I'm going to put it on the top and I'm going to bake it uh, it'll have to bake for at least about 15 minutes, just enough that that egg on the top will just all set. Now, as I said, I think I've got enough here, and there's enough chicken in there, the cheese, and the goodness of the chicken stock is, makes it nice and uh, tasty. There you go. Oh, let's put that in there again. All right, now I'm going to put on top of that, I'm going to put this egg that I have beaten up. Add a bit of cheese to it if you want to. I'll add the rest of that cheese that I had there. And 
Now I'll just have to just spread that along like that on the top and that'll set on the top of that risotto. Minutes, well then it's a, it'll be all, it's all ready. So I'll put it in the oven 